Main Flora, Three Views, is a collaborative project which will result in an exhibition at the Harlow Gallery in Hollowell, Maine. The exhibition will be uh, mounted by three artists, Catherine Davis, Laura Dunn, and Julia Einstein. While their vision is to create a play on scale, each takes a different approach to the subject, from a Zen practice, to a study and exploration, to flower portraits. They will share their process, inspiration, explorations, and techniques, and surprises along the way. Please welcome Catherine, Laura, and Julia. What a great PK. We are ready to go. Main Flora, Three Views. One small idea turned into something big, a studying contrast. A year of documentation in scale and perspective. These pictures were included in an exhibit proposal that was accepted. It was a place to start. My approach was simple to this project, my part. I would photograph every day something of beauty, mostly flowers. In winter, I enjoy painting in the studio, but as soon as there's a wash of spring color, my studio space has no walls. I wander outside, see what is special to the season, and from the complexity of a broad landscape, I narrow my focus on some small thing, shoot intuitively, often moving into abstraction, blooms, breeze, blurred edges. Summer garden, in this quiet moment, only buzz of pollinator wings, a reminder of the unseen web supporting every healthy bloom, beneficial insects, companion plants, soil, sun, rain, wind, and caring humans who intentionally select plant appropriate to the local ecology in extreme weather, heat, garden at night, and water before dawn. I sold two homes and extensive gardens, so relied on other growers this past year. By fall, I had learned to appreciate the luxury of free time for direct connections with good people in their gardens at their growing edges, without a camera between us all the time. I gathered arms full of their cut flowers. Young farmers, hard work, beautiful results. They also provided a colorful turn in my creative direction into winter again. As a visual person, hyper aware of my surroundings, my eyes and my mind are at all times seeking out, cataloging, remembering, form, texture, repetition, and wonder in the natural world. It is all there, all the time, if you are willing and have the desire to see it. My process begins with my observations of life around me. Observations become drawings, become stencils, become prints. In this image, you can see both the printing plate and stencils as I lift a new monoprint. The work is fresh and immediate and always a surprise. Every flower is a totem, and everything is a metaphor for something else. I believe there is strength within vulnerability. My flower drawings stand tall, vertical, reaching upward. Through my process, there is an almost infinite combination of color, texture, form, repetition, and layering. I am an artist who loves to try new techniques and processes. I wanted to see what happens when you repeat a print and then mirror and repeat that print again, a visual feast for the eye, custom wallpaper that will be installed as part of our main flora three views exhibition this February. Taking inventory of my surroundings at every turn, collecting weeds, mosses, flowers, grasses, fungi, each has a purpose, to grow and create seed for another year. The, int the intricacy of their short lives, the variety of color and form, the sheer magic of it all fills my senses and overwhelms my heart and my mind. Given the challenge of working with scale and being an artist who loves to experiment and play in the studio, I found myself creating miniature vessels for my flower and seed collections, 
tiny pots thrown on a tiny wheel. Each one is different from the next, just as each flower is from the other. I live in the painter's world of building fluid and luscious surfaces on canvas. My studio is filled with flowers I compose by color. They sit side by side to a palette of high key saturated paint. I'm inspired by 19th century artist and poet Celia Thaxter when she wrote, when asked how I grow flowers, it's about love, not butterfly lust, but true love. The act of preserving a found flower in the pages of her in Island Garden is my response to her history. You're looking at a painting that is three and a half feet by six feet, a larger than life still life, with a nod to the art of botanical drawing. The painted line is what I'm after in these long leggy stems to convey the elegant gesture in nature. The flower is blown up zoomed a thousand percent. The result is heightened color schemes, reds and oranges, yellows and turquoise, violets and poison greens, chartreuse and robin's egg blue. I call this series Flower Power. I've also been working in miniature, painting on canvases the size of my hand. It'll be exhibited as a collection of flowers gathered to form a grid on the wall. I'll be arranging it with attention to color using a quilt-like process. My surprise, I picked and pressed throughout the season to create an herbarium to record my artist's garden, inspired by another 19th century artist, Kate Furbish, and her discoveries of flora in the state of Maine. Please follow us on Instagram at MainFlora3Views to see more of our process, our inspiration, studio practice, and surprises. And join us in February at the Harlow Gallery. Thank you.